Hey guys, it's Dylan. Welcome back to Toy the Lips. Fresh Today, I want to take a look at the last Ronin figures. Finally got these suckers. I had the pre-orders locked in on Dorkside, but it's not... It doesn't seem to be working out. So the fine folks over at Nerdzoa cooked me up here. Uh, I, I picked up one of each. We got the armored and the unarmored versions of the NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, what 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 comics are we, Boom Studios? Who who does these comics? ID, IDW Ninja Turtles Ninja Turtles, and it's just sort of a it, it's based on this little four issue series, sort of a capping off the Ninja Turtles with a little bit of pornography. It's 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 just, it's some kind of smut. It's one of these really dark, gritty. You know, everyone's gonna die. You know, so that that makes it better, right? I mean, I'm not a twelve year old, so 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 no. Go ahead and pick it up, though. Uh, see, see for yourself. See what you think about that comic. We're going to look at these toys one at a time. We're going to look at them one at a time. We're going to start with, they're even numbered. Look at this. This guy has a number one right here on the package. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Look at his package while you're here, too. Get you, get you excited for the next one. Same, uh, similar, same character. He's just, you know, he's, just, he's all dressed up from the waist up. Different accessories and so forth. This video though, we're gonna we're gonna crack into this guy. Right now. Right now. And now we're over here. Like I said, this is the NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, from the Last Ronin miniseries. Before we go any further, go ahead and leave a like on this video. And let me know in the comments if you liked The Last Ronin. I thought it was I thought it was just fine. Coming in for a closer look at our armored but now unadorned Last Ronin figure, the detail on this thing is just outstanding. This is really where NECA shines. They, they knock stuff like this out of the park. Other companies ought to take notes on, on contour line shading and things like that. You've got all this line work that's it's sculpted and then uh, painted, painted on and in there. And it's, it's, it's where it needs to be. And then you get all this extra, you get all this extra uh, faux weathering, dry brushing effects with a lighter color over the top to make this look faded and weathered all over the gi. The pouches... The multiple colors and, and scratches and, and digs and gouges and everything is really, really nice. Look at that, too. Teeth, side profile. Maybe we've missed a little bit here. But it's a, it's a far cry from like a Hasbro joint where they're in a plastic-free box now and you slide it out and it's missing half the paint and didn't have that much to begin with. Ugh. You know, we have this little holster sort of ramshackle system for holding all of his weapons that he's put together in the comic. And this is this is pretty accurate. It changes a little bit. Watch out though, these are real thread. This is nice, but they will this one came undone on me right away and it took me like twenty minutes to put it back together with two pair of tweezers. And then I, I burned the ends a little bit maybe to encourage it to stay. We'll see. Just something to be aware of. Really nice texturing all over the thing. A lot of these pieces are softer, like the elbow pads, the belt, and, and these guys here. While we're here, this head is just on a ball peg. It'll come back a little bit, down a little bit. It'll rotate, of course, and it has a little bit of tilt. It's got It's a really good height, I think. It's not too low. It's not too high. This sucker just ports in and will spin around. There's a couple different variations of that. The arms are simply socketed in here on a big old hinge. Because of all of this, they won't quite hit 90, but it gets up there a ways. Standard sort of three-part arm joint, how NECA do, and it'll crush in about 90. It also rotates on that sucker, though. You can see the hinges there. And look, they're all painted and or cast the proper colors. So that... That's something, you know, down here on this bracer, which is also a little bit softer. All this awesome weathering digs and gouges down onto the hands. Same excellent level of detail on these gloves that carries through. And they're hinged in and out, restricted slightly by that gauntlet piece. Just the one spot of articulation here, though, at the waist. It's ball jointed in, so it'll rotate all the way. Mind all this stuff, of course, and where you place your hands when you do it. It's like you just, natural inclination is to hold it here. Eee, be careful, be careful. It will lean forward a little, back a little bit. And these legs kick way out to the side here. This gi is, is a lot softer, this lower piece. Come out to the front like so. 
and they come back a little ways too and you get double jointed knees that uh, this this knee pad is in the way a little bit it squishes down on again softer that's a softer piece and they're asymmetrical too I like that different pads you just this is just scrounged together this is a, a guy who's been doing this for decades trying to keep the dream alive so these wraps down here on the lower legs are really cool too. You get this second color on the lower parts to simulate just the, the grime, years worth of grime, more little contour lines and that dry brush. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that. It carries all over the thing. The joints uh, match on either side there. Really nice touch. I want to make sure I spotlight all of this cool stuff or they think you don't appreciate it. You know what I mean? <laughs> just a bunch of ingrates who line up in droves to buy all their toys. But they, they are fantastic. I really, really appreciate the attention to detail, the quality of these things. This ankle piece is a separate joint in there too. It will rotate independently and the foot will rotate on that. Kicks back like this, forward like this, has that ankle rocker and killer, killer detail down on the sandals, turtle toenails, such clean paint hits too. Little instep guard, check this out, bottom of the feet, texture and paint and peg holes. Come on now, come on now. This is just quality design through and through. Okay, hopefully you're sitting down for this part. The accessories. Look at this. So he comes with all of these awesome weapons here. The bow staff, of course. You can associate this with their particular turtles here. In some cases, it's just a tonfa. Big, heavy-duty, crazy-looking one, too. Weird. Why is it so thick? Yeah. Get this sword. Really, really nice detail on all of this stuff, of course. They're, they're not afraid to rock some metallic paint, you know. Look at that. Look at that. Almost looks like it was wrapped. All these little paint hits, man. Almost like they care a little bit about the products, you know. Scabbard. Pretty plain. Matches the book just fine, though. Sucker will go right in there. Nice and sturdy. Chucks with a real chain. A little metal joint. And just all the extra little sculpts in there where they just they don't even have to, and they do. Sigh. With more of that nice metallic paint. And then you get brown and you get like black in there too. Here we go. Grapple. Trying to keep all this thread all neatly, all neatly coiled, you know. But uh, same deal as the system on the back. Just be careful. These ties aren't super tight. Here we go. Smoke bomb. Look at that. God. All these little tiny shuriken. A little hole in the middle there. Goggles with that metallic paint. And this is an elastic band. Black on the lenses and the little hits are red. I love that. And he gets the hood. Slightly softer and weathering details to match the costume that's gone now. So we'll move on to the optional bandana piece. This is the sort of side draper and then this is sort of blown back effect. Wind blown, sleek, charging in the darkness. You get this awesome optional head with the open mouth. And look at that, it's actually kind of open there. These teeth are just a, a hair soft, well sculpted, really well painted. No misses, no craziness. It's not like a ha I don't mean to pick on Hasbro, man, but you pull their stuff out of the plastic free and it's like half the paint's missing and it wasn't even very much to begin with. You see, they missed the line a little bit there. I don't mean to play favorites, but obviously this is way cooler than, you know what I mean? Here, here's something to keep in mind. Uh, same price as the upcoming Hasbro Marvel Legends Gamerverse Spider-Man figure. This is You could get all of this for the same price as that thing. Spider-Man tax, you know what I mean? And the same awesome detail on all of the optional hands. You have these gripping hands with the slight splay in the fingers to properly rock that sigh. You guys know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. And they are they're slightly 
They are slightly gummy. Be careful, of course, you don't want to just break your sigh. Just, will you just? You will just. And then you get a set of splayed hands like this. Like perhaps he's, you know, rocking the sword and the other hand's out here all, ha! Ah, how it do? It's, it's just too cool, the amount of fun you can have with all of this crap. Wait till you see what comes with the other one. Some stuff to note here too, really cool, how easily swappable the hands and heads are. Not always common with the NECA, not not even with Hasbro, even though those are the, those are the ones for that. God, take a head off a of Black Series. I popped a head off a of Leia the other day, and it actually broke because you're not supposed to. Who who can tell? What's wrong with those people? <laughs> anyway, sorry. I thought I would demonstrate on camera just the the ease of this. It's you know it's almost it's almost effortless. They come in and out really easy. And I mean I, that's what you want. You go in on a NECA, and you're like, man, this is just going to be some stiff nightmare trying to swap these. You know, that popped off. Pretty handily, you know what I mean? No change in my voice, no no off-camera strength. It just goes right onto there. Really, really happy with that. Pop, and stick this one on over here. Maybe give him a sword. And the the fingers are just a little bit soft. They're not just dead stiff like you would like you would fear. So that is cool. Not only do they make it like this, but they, they want you to use it like this. Something you trip about some toys when you open them. It's like, man, they didn't even expect a guy to open it, I bet. Checking the height, the NECA Ninja Turtles, the last Ronin, stands about six and a half inches. Here he is next to a comic and a cartoon figure. A couple of movie figures. These all look great, but of course this guy is just in his own in his own scene. I'd say he needs some friends, but he is the... Well, you get the idea. Finally, here he is next to a DC Multiverse Batman and the Marvel Legends Morning Coffee Mostly Bucky Cap Deadpool. Welcome back, friend. So I don't think there's much denying that this is a fantastic package. Another slick release from NECA. This one especially cool. It, it's a Ninja Turtle. Everybody loves those, right? And I don't mean to come down as so hard on that comic. It's, it's, it's fine. It's just, it's the reaction to the comic. Like everybody crawling out of the woodwork acting like it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And I'm over here like, man, eh. there have been and continue to be comics that I believe are, are, are far superior to that. I'm not here to rank art. I don't, I don't like that. It is a fun Ninja Turtle jag, but it's my personal opinion that the best thing to come out of that are these action figures. Man, oh man. I would highly recommend this one and the other one. You get them like a set. The accessories are complimentary. Even the articulation is is nice, the choices they've made in a lot of places. He's slightly restricted by the armored nature of the thing and, and him being a turtle, but even all that all that said, he's better in, in a lot of ways than a lot of other figures. Hasbro, this is not. Is that the third time I mentioned them? Maybe I'll edit that out, man. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you, you guys know. Anyone in this toy game knows. They they act like no one's looking and no one sees all this crazy, crazy, shady, crazy shadiness. My God, my God. Meanwhile, NECA's just over here knocking them out of the park. You'd be like, hey, man, if it takes this $35 price point to give us this, then there you go. But you know what Hasbro gives us for $35? A repainted Spider-Man. Get your pre-orders in today. Hey, kids! <laughs> you can wait for them suckers to hit clearance. This guy, though, too. Follow, follow people like Turtle Lair on, on Twitter, and they'll hit you up when this guy, this guy was 18 bucks the other day. I scored mine full price on Nerdzoic. I'll plug that one more time because that's a, he's a mad cool dude. Toy channel runs a toy store out of his house with his lovely wife. And we all got to support each other in this game, man. I appreciate anyone that's made it this far. And rest assured, I will review all things Last Ronin right here on this channel. Drop me a like. Drop me a fucking like. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.